For anyone who knows me, shoes and the maintenance of them is one of my many obsessions. I met the owners of Zapato Sanchez at Western Canada Fashion Week and was super excited to talk to them about custom-made shoes. So let's go inside and have a look. Well, we're inside West End Shoe Repair with the owner, Rodrigo, and they have everything for taking care of your shoes, which is super exciting for me. But let's get to the crux of the matter, a bespoke men's shoe. I'm particularly excited about this and I can't wait to get my own pair made. But tell me, how did you get interested in making men's shoes? Oh, I was essentially born into it. Uh, it's been running in the family blood for many, many generations now. It all started in Spain with my grandpa working on shoes there. Then he migrated to Chile, and that's where my brother grew up with seven different brothers, and they all shared the same passion getting into shoes. And so when he came here with my mom, they continued the passion, and I was born into it. So ever since I was little, really little, I've been playing with leather for my whole life. and. Yeah, it's, it's something wonderful that we get to share as a family. So I really, really, really enjoy it and appreciate everything that I've learned from them. Well, well that's, that's amazing, but I don't understand how you learn to make shoes. Like, where, do, where does one go to learn how to make men's shoes? Um, well, uh, since my mom planted the seed, essentially, where she was saying, hey, Rod, you should think about, you know, studying this and so I was like okay well where should I look I looked in Italy and there was two institutes and the one in Milan really just touched my heart and so I went there and it was probably the most fulfilling enlightening journey of my life and since I returned uh, it's essentially an obsession now that's all I can do that's all I want to do well, uh, Milan, like the heart of fashion, and I'm thrilled that you came back to Edmonton, um, and that's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit, because I personally don't understand what the process is or what the steps would be Definitely. to making a men's of course, shoe? Of course, so yeah, we like to uh, have our clients come in, give them a th authentic vibe and feel of the bespoke experience where they sit down, I take their measurements and then uh, we reference their measurements to, a sh it's what you call the shoe last. And if we have to manipulate the mold or shoe last for whatever reason to accommodate your measurements, we can. That's definitely in, in the works. We can definitely do that. That's well, you, you were mentioning to me uh, earlier, so if uh, somebody has like a uh, bunion or something like that, you can manipulate it a bit just to accommodate just the, the uniqueness of your particular exactly, foot. Exactly, exactly. Everyone has unique feet and no one's feet is perfectly symmetrical. So if we have to add a little layer of leather here to accommodate a bunion, that's not a problem. What I think is particularly exciting is that you can pick your own leathers and designs and actually design a pair of shoes that truly are uniquely yours. Um, so tell us what the name of the shoe company is and why it's called that. Yeah, it's called uh, Zapato Sanchez and it was recommended by my very smart and handsome brother-in-law, <laughs> <laughs> Andres. He uh, suggested it and it includes our family name, Sanchez, which is very dear to us and because it's a huge, huge family effort. Everyone's involved and so we have to have Sanchez in there. And Zapatos, which is Spanish for shoes, so uh. we are Spanish and we love uh, the, the culture and everything it represents, so Zapato Sanchez just works perfect for us. That's perfect. Well, as I've always said, spend the money on the hair and the shoes and the rest takes care of itself. For Shaw TV, I'm Randall McDonald.